as we go through the, the negative effects of these synthetic uh, vitamins. Well, what's the solution in the next segment, in the third segment of this three-segment seri- uh, three series? We'll actually go in detail with uh, the vitamins and, and these nutrients and with Dr. Clement cover the natural places, the natural sources, and, and recommended supplementation sources as well. So let's let's wrap it up. I know we've uh, on on the series on the part of of nutrients and vitamins. We have spoken earlier, but just to have it in one place, vitamin C, the, the adverse effects of synthetic vitamin C. Well, it's cancer. We'll start with cancer. We'll start with the dilution of the bloodstream, so potential stroke uh, problems. Uh, circulatory disorders, etc., nerve damage long-term, high acidity levels, all the chemical forms, which is 98% of the market, are creating acidity in the body. And uh, you want to balance between alkalinity mostly and a little bit of acidity, but not more acidity. Uh, the crystalline effect, we actually think that it even has uh, somewhat of an impact or correlation with mental illness. Because when we've seen People take a lot of high doses, especially the IV varieties. Uh, There tends to be a trend in instability, emotional instability with these people, and we've harvested that over the years. Where, on the other hand, you need vitamin C. My God, Uh, any legitimate person who looks at the beginning of life uh, knows that blue-green algae was the very first life form on this planet, a single-cell microorganism that created oxygen, and all life came after that. But very few people, if any, ever ask, where did blue-green algae come from? And those of us who have delved into this and thought about it long and hard, and uh, we support one, think that it was vitamin C and hydrogen. Hydrogen and what we now call vitamin C, the whole food variety of vitamin C that was in nature, wasn't called vitamin C at that point. There weren't people to call it that. <laughs> uh, basically came together and spawned uh, blue-green algae in, in water. And so this is a very primary and essential nutrient. And uh, some of the work uh, that revealed this was Linus Pauling's work. And as good a man as he was and as brilliant and as bright and as contributory to the culture and society and our health, he was a little bit off track because he had the flawed foundation of still believing that we in, in laboratories, men, can create and mimic nature to the teeth. 